where the Spirit is Lord, there is this liberty, this liberty of belief. Holy Ghost of God in the earth today. Holy Ghost of God in the earth today. The Holy Ghost is God Ghost in God the earth, in the earth today. today. And you walk with Him by saying Holy words. Ghost of God in My name is Andrew Hemstrott. Thank you for joining us. The Father is your first is time here. Heaven. Make sure you subscribe if right this isn't your first time here. And these messages are blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us tonight i'm going to be talking about a different kind of faith and by different i mean something you weren't believing before in order to go somewhere others have not gone you must believe something that others have not yet believed and up till now you might have been the other that wasn't believing mm -hmm. God doesn't show everything to everyone he just doesn't and we go from glory to glory by paying prices if you don't pay the price required to go to that next level of glory guess what you don't go there second Corinthians chapter 3 verse 17 now the Lord is that spirit who is that spirit Holy Ghost. the Holy Ghost is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is or where the spirit is Lord there is Liberty verse 18 but we all with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord what if we don't beholding as in a glass mm -hmm. the glory of the Lord then we're not paying that price and can't go to where this is taking us beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the spirit who is Lord but if you don't do the paying the price part you don't get to go from glory to glory does that make sense mm -hmm. well here it says now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty this liberty is liberty to believe say liberty to believe liberty to believe a freedom of belief that you didn't have before does that make sense yeah let's say you didn't go to that liberty pre-liberty you have no belief mm -hmm. for that and you might say something like i don't believe that well, what's the difference between one person who says i don't believe that and someone who has the liberty of believing something that everybody else doesn't believe mm -hmm. that person gets to go from one glory to the next glory does this make sense yeah. where the Spirit is Lord there is this liberty this liberty of belief say liberty, liberty. of belief, of belief. <laughs> sounds good right mm -hmm. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and we walk with him by saying words that in itself is a different belief enter into that belief and your whole context changes it changes the context of everything say everything everything and people that have not entered into that belief that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today have not had their context changed and they cannot enter into that liberty of belief that many of us walk in is this making sense mm -hmm. it's a glory they've not yet experienced mm -hmm. and they're kept out of it by their limited belief first Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 19 what 
know you not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost who is in you which body you have of God and you are not your own for you are bought with a price therefore glorify God in your body who's the God in your body the is the Holy Ghost God mm -hmm. here he's specifically calling him the God he says now you're supposed to glorify God in your body you're bought with a price glorify God in your body I glorify God in my body now for example are you here mm -hmm. for example youth renewal is something that the Holy Ghost who is God is something he does something he has something he is say youth renewal. youth renewal I glorify God the Holy Ghost who has is and does youth renewal youth renewal in my body say this youth renewal, youth renewal. in my body, in my body. Glorifies him. glorifies him glorifying God in your body yeah. it's something he has it's something he is it's something he does mm -hmm. now I've preached many messages on youth renewal and if you get serious about it youth renewal it will come to you second Chronicles chapter 16 verse 9 for the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole what earth, earth right where's that right here. right here that's where you are right so this Lord that is looking that's basically what it means it doesn't mean his eyes are like you know running around eyeballs rolling around no <laughs> he's looking around throughout the whole earth must be in the earth the eyes of the Lord running to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong on behalf of those whose hearts are perfect towards him he wants to show himself is this scripture he's not trying to hide himself he's trying to show himself and then it says he will show himself strong strong is a function of youth renewal weak is a function of old age are you here yeah. he wants to show himself strong mm -hmm. have you ever seen you know the, the young kids out on the playground they like to especially the boys they like to show how strong they are mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know they're walking around look come feel my muscle mm -hmm. remember doing that when you were a kid girls don't often do that because you're like what what muscle <laughs> he wants to show himself strong it's a function of youth that's what I'm saying mm -hmm. strength is often I can take you to other scriptures the strength of the young man are you here mm -hmm. he wants to show himself old and rickety no. no he wants to show his youth renewal his strength you glorifying him in your body is this making sense mm -hmm. so he looks around to see he wants to see and show himself yeah. he will see and show say he will see, he will see and, show. and show and part of the show will be strength yeah. is this too difficult no. the strength of youth renewal which he has and does all right strong on your behalf what does that mean mm -hmm. he's gonna renew your youth Amen. he's gonna glorify himself in your body Amen. and we're not supposed to forget these benefits are you getting this mm -hmm. Psalms 103 in verse 1 bless the Lord O my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name who has a holy name holy ghost. Mm -hmm. holy ghost it's literally his first name verse 2 bless the Lord O my soul and forget not 
all his benefits verse 3 who forgives all thine iniquities is that good yeah. mm -hmm. who heals some of your diseases he heals all of them say he heals, he heals. All, of them. all of them who redeems thy life from destructions who crowns thee with loving kindness and tender mercies who verse 5 who satisfies thy mouth with good things so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles he satisfies your mouth so your youth is renewed so my youth is renewed say so, so my, youth is renewed. my youth is renewed is this something he does mm -hmm. specifically said so is this something he's gonna do in your body yeah mm -hmm. and he will be glorified by it Amen. see he already sent his word can you see that yes. he already sent his word he already sent his word i i'm finding myself i don't know if it's me getting more mature or not or just more annoyed i don't know people praying for all of this stuff that god already said already spoke about if you already said something to me and i kept asking you for the thing you already said at some point isn't that just annoying it's certainly not faith mm -hmm. he already sent his word now let's look at uh, Isaiah chapter 55 verse 11 so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth what does that mean he spoke it, he spoke it. so shall my spoken word be it shall not return unto me void but it my spoken word shall accomplish that which i please and it my spoken word shall prosper in the thing whereunto i sent it now after this verse he's already spoke he's already spoken a word he's already sent it out he's already said that that spoken word would prosper in the thing where into he sent it mm -hmm. and you keep asking him for it over and over again mm -hmm. he already sent his word concerning healing listen he already sent his word concerning youth renewal we just read it mm -hmm. where is that word to this very day did it like skim off the earth and then went out and into the sun and then imploded no. where is it he spoke it listen it says here the verse 10 he goes so as the rain comes down and the snow from heaven right returns not thither but waters the earth yeah. his word was spoken into the earth and makes it bring forth what does his spoken listen if you can get this his spoken word makes it bring forth mm. if it was a spoken word of healing his spoken word makes it bring forth healing if it was a spoken word of youth renewal his spoken word makes it bring forth youth renewal are you getting this mm -hmm. he already sent his word how does he send it by saying it he's already said it he's already sent his word what else is he going to do about it i know you would like a different answer nothing he said it won't return void but it will accomplish his spoken word his spoken word will accomplish the thing said his spoken word will accomplish the thing said if you speak his word his spoken word out your mouth will accomplish the thing said 
straight up what else is he gonna do about it nothing nada zippo now he's looking at you remember he's looking he's looking to and fro throughout the whole earth he wants to show himself strong on behalf of you but you have to speak his word mm -hmm. are you getting this yes. he already sent his word now you have to take that word and put it in your mouth and speak it he's looking at you that's why his eyes are going back and forth in the earth he's trying to find somebody he can show himself strong on behalf of and the only person that he will show himself strong on behalf of is someone who has his word in their mouth what if I choose to speak his words concerning youth renewal mm -hmm. will those words return void no. that's a different kind of faith mm -hmm. Psalms 107 verse 20 he sent his word he already sent his word he sent his word and healed them if he sent his word and healed them it had to be in the word healing had to be in the word that he sent mm -hmm. are you here he sent his word and how does he send his word by saying it he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction I've got news for you one of the dis destructions of mankind is called old age mm -hmm. is it not mm -hmm. people deteriorate unless their youth is renewed mm -hmm. are you here yeah. he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions the spoken word is an immutable law immutable means not mutable it doesn't mutate it doesn't change it's non-changing in fact it's not subject to change so when God spoke a word it will produce that thing said not subject to change does that make sense mm -hmm. laying your faith upon the bedrock of God's spoken word becomes your unshakable kingdom mm -hmm. laying your faith on the bedrock of God's spoken word what do you mean is spoken word meaning the words that you spoke out your mouth you're laying your faith there and there's a bedrock mm -hmm. that's unshakable it's immutable mm -hmm. it becomes your unshakable kingdom say my, my. Unshakable, unshakable kingdom, kingdom. that was better than I think you thought it was it becomes your unshakable kingdom if you speak his word concerning healing it becomes your unshakable kingdom of healing does this make sense yeah. same with youth renewal same with prosperity any of those scriptures that he's already spoken it can become your unshakable kingdom we receive a kingdom that's unshakable cannot be shaken Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 28 wherefore we we receiving a kingdom that cannot be moved let us have grace whereby we may serve God or many translations say worship God we may worship God acceptably with reverence and godly fear for our God is a consuming fire 
what do you suppose he's consuming all those things that can that can be shaken you know old age shakes you ever seen a shaky old person mm -hmm. right right yeah. mm -hmm. he's consuming the things that can be moved he's consuming the things that can be shaken what isn't he consuming the kingdom that we've received mm -hmm. that cannot be shaken the fact is you haven't said his word enough to have hit bedrock unshakable bedrock the spoken word dawns on you say the spoken word, spoken word. Dawns, on dawns on me and you go I'm there over a period of time saying God's word it dawns on you and you hit bedrock unshakable stop trying to get healed and start getting serious this is for some you got to hear this and start getting serious about believing for youth renewal in your body he will restore it to something that it never was before youth renewal glorifies God in your body isn't that enough to start believing for it mm -hmm. say so youth renewal, youth renewal. Glorifies, God glorifies God in my body, in my body. now I wanted to get farther into this and Lord willing we will but I am going to put listen I'm going to put all things under my feet and my feet happen to be physical which means we have to put all things under our feet including the physical things mm -hmm. and then the last enemy to, to be put underfoot is death mm -hmm. the problem is you don't believe this is this glorifying God in your body putting all things under your feet your feet are part of your body yeah. do you you know this is your tongue part of your body yes, mm -hmm. yes. putting all things under your feet is glorifying God in your body all creation obeys the glorious liberty of the children of God Romans chapter 8 because the creature or creation itself say creation itself, creation itself shall also be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God is that in your Bible when do you suppose creation will be transferred over into the glorious liberty of the children of God mm. it would have to be when the children of God go there yeah. right mm -hmm. because it's being delivered from the bondage of corruption into mm -hmm. the glorious liberty of the children of God what if the children of God don't go to that glorious liberty they stay on a lower level of glory remember we began this with the liberty yeah. liberty of belief say liberty, liberty. of belief. belief all creation is going to be changed into this liberty of belief mm -hmm. by us all things being put under our feet now if all creation obeys the glorious liberty of the children of God how much more your body I hope you can hear this how much more will your body obey the glorious Liberty of the children of God I understand this is new believing but you can't believe it if you don't hear it are you here mm -hmm. 
isn't someone going to put the last enemy under their feet yeah wouldn't putting death under your feet be a function of youth renewal we better get this moving yeah right mm -hmm. okay anyway we're in Romans go to Romans 12 we'll try to end with this like I said when you start getting serious about youth renewal it will come to you Romans chapter 12 verse 1 I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of God that you present your body say bodies body. do you know what that is mm -hmm. that's your physical body mm -hmm. a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto God which is your reasonable service and be not conformed are we still talking about our bodies mm -hmm. and be not conformed to this world but be ye your bodies transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove mm -hmm. in your body mm -hmm. that good acceptable and perfect will of God mm -hmm. oh yes that's a very nice scripture well, I don't know how nice it is but I believe it and we can have this listen we can have this being manifest in our body which glorifies God say this, this. Glorifies, glorifies God, God. remember how we started this we are commanded and called to glorify God in our body who is the God that's in our body Holy the Holy Ghost is the living God and he has youth renewal he is youth renewal and he does youth renewal mm -hmm. and he does it in your body say the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Does, youth does youth renewal in my body, in my body. And, this glorifies him. and this glorifies him thank you Holy Ghost for blessing these people and causing them to come up another notch that we may rise up and know you and walk with you in this glorious liberty of the children of God which is not only life transforming for us but life transforming for the entire creation we worship you Holy Ghost in Jesus name Amen, amen. if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I worship you I thank you that you are right now transforming my finances from one glory to another glory to another glory and I thank you for it in Jesus name Amen